What's up, it's James Haunt. Uh, we're in San Clemente, California at Sheckler's New Park and I'm doing a painting. Ryan Runke over at Red Bull, good buddy of ours. He hit me up and uh, was just like, dude, I love your art, just shoot us something cool. And this is just like the first concept I kind of came up with. I want to do something that involved like the girls still and the kind of th the summer kind of sunshine vibe with the sunglasses and the palm trees. But I wanted to brand it Red Bull still and keep it still kind of like clean and simple. So I chose to use a Red Bull sports logo because it's like a one color and like I put it over her face and I felt it didn't like take away too much from the image. So I, I felt it was kind of like a good combination of the two. So I sent it over and they, they were digging it. We just had a couple of color revisions and we're good. As soon as we got here, everyone's been really, really cool. Gretchen's been super awesome. Ryan stopped by. Mark's been here just holding us down. And we've just been like skating, playing football, these little uh, basketball hoops, and we've just been messing around, just really having way too much fun. It's kind of hard to get work done though, but it's been good. We've been having a bunch of fun and our boys over at Electric are right next door. So they've been stopping by and we've just all been hanging out. This piece is about 25 by 35 feet long. The biggest I've done, it was probably one I did in Tijuana. I mean, it was just really long. It's like nine feet tall, so not that tall, but long, it was like, 160 feet long, so I think square footage wise, that was probably the biggest. Next after that was the one I recently did at Iron Lac. And that one I feel was like a little bit more epic only because like the scale of the imagery was so big and it was like cropped. So I don't know, I kind of want to do more stuff like that. That's why this piece is kind of similar to it. This one in particular, I use a projector to like get my sketch down because that's I think the most important part is make sure your proportions are all good, especially when you're doing a logo. So a projector makes it extremely easy. If you don't have a projector or you're not able to use a projector for some reason, I grid and gridding also helps too. It takes a little bit longer, but it, it gets that same kind of precision. I mean, other guys are good at just freehanding, but I, when messing with logos and me in particular, when I do a design, I want it to look as accurate to that design as possible. So I just uh, use grids and projectors. I'm James Haunt and I gotta get back to work. So I'll see you guys later.